Extinguishing a light class too quickly can cause you to miss the kill. You need to flame them long enough for the afterburn to blow up, causing the extinguish to deal enough damage to actually kill. The panic attack is about a third of a second faster than the reserve shooter. The flare gun combo takes a bit less time but can be done from further away. Flame particles linger for a bit longer than they appear visually. This can be used to set up combos on approaching enemies. Medics and Spies move 7% faster than Pyro. This potentially means a detonator jump is your best bet at landing an extinguish. Just be careful with Spies, as melee range is where they are strongest, and the jump could leave you open. The 20% damage bonus on the rake only really helps you fight heavies, soldiers, and medics. It lets you kill meds in 2, soldiers in 3, and heavies in 4 hits, saving you a hit on each. As one of Pyro's biggest counters, answering a heavy quickly is very important. That said, if you can jump a heavy in melee range, extinguishing them can be a genuinely viable option. The typical double puff axe can work, but requires three weapon switches. A puff, sting, and then axe can net you the same or more damage in only two weapon switches. And if you wish to consult the devil, the Scorch's bouncing flare can two tap a heavy in only a single switch. If you don't want to be just playing Pyro without air blast, charging the flog quickly is something to keep in mind. It takes 300 damage to fill or a single heavy's worth of health. The flare gun charges the fastest, while the scorch and detonator are far more consistent. Ironically enough, the man melter is the slowest, but only because it doesn't have splash damage like the detonator. The sharpened volcano fragment into a flare punch can kill a soldier after the afterburn finishes. However, it's far better for killing the demos if the afterburn can be tended to in that time. It just killed the soldier. It, that's how long it took. The way the backburner calculates backs is weird. The wiki describes it as using dot products, unlike the spy's knife which just uses a 100 degrees of backside. I think it's a 40 degree cone around the backside of the player and it looks something like this. I, I don't know why it has to be this complicated. Anyway, thanks for listening in. These were just some things that I wanted to talk about. Playing Pyro a lot makes you think about these things, and I don't know, I thought I'd put them down to note. I could do stuff like this for other classes, but I, I don't know what I'd talk about. If you have any suggestions for that, feel free to leave a comment, you know. It, it's it's kind of nice to talk about the little nuances of your class, you know. Just try and put some thought behind it. Anyway, thanks for watching.